fraud. Uh, been a weird morning. I'm a little slow today. What's going on YouTube? Taylor Prentice back here with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the week four drop list for Supremes fall winter 2023 season almost said spring summer again i did that last week too but uh yeah the big collaboration for this week is with mark lecky uh he's a british contemporary artist i wasn't really familiar with his work um but yeah we'll get into that in the end of the video if you guys are new to the channel if you guys could hit that like subscribe it would help me out a lot i cover all things supreme and palace as well so i will be dropping a video on the palace drop list for this week today so make sure to go check that out but Anyways, getting into this video, the first item we have here is, re <laughs> is the reversible houndstooth overcoat. I really like houndstooth. Um, I like overcoats, just not really like my style, but I really do like this one. Um, so we do have some small details. We have like an enamel pin that comes with the jacket, which is cool. Um, and then we also have the tag here, the branding on the left sleeve. There's also pockets here if you guys couldn't tell. And then we just have the button enclosure. We do have more branding on the inside, which is cool. And then on the back, we also have the Supreme branding worked into there too. I don't know why this image looks so blurry, but um, yeah, I really do like this jacket. It has the kind of raglan sleeves, but it is coming in two colorways as well. And it is, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I did not realize these were reversible. That's a game changer. Uh, dude, these are so cool, what the hell? Um, I don't, like, this is not a style of jacket that I would get a lot of wear out of, but this is a style of jacket I feel like as I get older, I would really like to have one in my wardrobe. And this would be a great one to have. Um, yeah, I really, really like this piece. I like the first colorway a little bit more than the second one, but I think both of them are really nice. Um, I do like the black a lot, but yeah, I think I would probably go with the first colorway, but yeah, these are really, really nice jackets. I didn't realize that they were reversible, even though I said reversible houndstooth overcoat. Um, fraud, uh, been a weird morning. I'm a little slow today, but yeah, those are so cool. Moving on, we have the plaid flannel shirt. I really like flannel shirts from Supreme. They fit me perfectly, I always talk about that. Uh, we do have the classic logo there on the pocket, and we do have this coming in three colorways. I'd probably wear all three of these colorways, but uh, to be honest, this one is definitely my favorite, and then the other two, I'm all right on. Uh, I like the green one a little bit more than the black one, but I feel like we have seen better colorways on flannels from Supreme in recent history. Here we have another uh, pretty cool, unique piece, so we have definitely seen the patchwork logos before, but this one is leather. I feel like that's pretty insane. Also how they use different colors of leather, I think is just really cool. I really like this Heather Gray one, um, but all the colorways are pretty solid in my opinion. Here we have the glazed athletic short sleeve top. So this is just like a uh, ringer style tee. I like this one. Um, I don't really like the yellow colorway to be honest, but this red, white, and blue one I think is really cool and then I like the black and white one and gray as well just the yellow one uh, was a little like too loud or something for me but I really like this artwork on it definitely gives you that vintage feel and this is not something I feel like like a lot of people would think is a supreme piece even though we do have the small supreme branding there here we have the banner short sleeve uh, not really a fan of this graphic I yeah I don't really love like old English font and then just the banner I, uh, eh. Eh. here we have needle punch jeans these are sick um yeah these are really cool i imagine these will be pretty expensive i'm not sure like what the process is on how they make these but i feel like it's pretty labor intensive and we do have them coming in just a normal denim like blue denim and then we have them coming in a black as well yeah these are really cool um depending on the price i would maybe go for them but right now i'm a broke boy so not going to be picking these up, but I do like these. And then getting into the caps, uh, we have some back arc six panels. And dude, I think these are sick. Um, especially this brown colorway, I think is very, very nice. I love the black as well. I think the denim one is cool and the red one is not bad. Um, yeah, I don't know why I like these hats so much, but yeah, these are bangers for me. Uh, I, yeah, I, it's kind of an odd thing for me to like so much, but I do really, really like these. Here we have some pinup five. 
here we have some pinup mesh back five panels um so i like like these and i guess you could like turn it into a trucker if you just bent the brim but like i don't know pinup hats not really for me here we have the uh striped cashmere beanie so seeing supreme release something that's cashmere is a little bit wild but i don't really love any of these to be honest um i don't really like dislike any of them uh but i don't this isn't really something that I would go out of my way to spend money on, if that makes sense. I do like this blue one. I think it's probably my favorite. But, yeah, I would probably wear all these if they were, like, given to me or something. But not something I'm going to drop money on, especially since they're cashmere. Getting into the accessories, we have the Supreme Cost Porta Pro headphones. So I don't know anything about Cost Porta Pros. Um, these look really cool, though. I has that, like, retro vibe to it. Um... Yeah, it comes with like a little carrier case, which is nice. Wired headphones, though, uh, is kind of an odd thing, especially with just like a three millimeter jack because not very many people have that. You'd have to carry around a little attachment if you have an iPhone. So definitely an interesting decision here to drop these, but I kind of respect it. And then we just have screw pins. Uh, they're just pins that are literally screws. I don't, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, moving on. <laughs> uh, here we have the Mark Lecky stuff. So as you guys can see here are all the pieces. We have a jacket with some matching pants. Uh, we have a button-up shirt. We have a t-shirt. We have some skate decks. We have another pair of pants and a matching jacket for that as well. So getting into them, here are the all over print, just like image pieces. I like the jacket. I talked about this in the season preview. Um, I like the jacket and I kind of like the pants too. It's just like you feel kind of weird wearing pictures of stuff like of people that you don't really know who they are. Like I feel like if someone made this for me, of like old images of my life, that would be super sick. I like the aesthetic of it, but just the idea of wearing like images of people who I have no idea who they are feels kind of odd. Um, but yeah, I do like the way that these pieces look. I like the like how they've been spliced together. I think the collage aspect was pretty cool. Here uh, we have zip up jackets. I'm not even sure what to call this style of a jacket. It does look like it is denim though. Um, these are very British inspired, I would say. Not really something I feel like is like a super big style in America. I do like these though. Um, I like the like different color text here with the English part and just the overall aesthetic of these jackets. This may, maybe looks like, like retro 90s type of stuff, like even in America, I mean, um, but yeah, definitely like a retro vibe on all this stuff. Like even just the images in this feel very old. Uh, so yeah, you could just get that same vibe with these clothes. And we do have some like double knee action here. I'm not too big on double knee pants. Uh, I feel like these are a little too wide fitting for my personal taste, but I feel like if you get the set, it will go nice together. Uh, this I think is probably the weakest um, piece in the collaboration just a little bit odd it's just images kind of spliced into a button-up t-shirt which like i think it actually kind of like fits the design which is really weird um it's kind of reminds me of like the tekken pieces maybe but like i don't know cool idea just kind of a weird execution i feel like and then we have uh this one where it's like a dude snorting propane or I'm actually not sure what's happening here so if anyone can explain this to me let me know down below because yeah I'm assuming that's propane I don't know I haven't seen like a full blown up image of it this is probably the best image I've seen so we do get that on a skate deck as well and the other skate decks as you can see are one is a fridge one is like I, I don't know what that is and then the other one is a back of a fridge so interesting interesting collaboration for sure um, yeah, I don't know. I do like the, the jackets for sure. Uh, both the imagery one and the denim ones, but yeah, kind of, kind of a weird week for Supreme. I don't know. Uh, I feel like there was some good pieces. Like I feel like most of the pieces are pretty good. Like I would wear most of these pieces. Uh, do I want to buy most of them though? Not like, I don't feel like there's anything dropping this week where it's like, I got to buy it. The, the weirdest thing for me is like I'm not a hat guy at all and uh, yeah if I were to buy anything this week it would definitely be this brown hat it's calling my name 
wish I had money for it. Maybe it'll make it to the end of season sale. I don't see it being a piece that's like super hype or anything. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much if you have made it to this point. Make sure you go check out my palace video if you guys are interested in that. It should be dropping like a couple hours after this. So stay tuned for it. But yeah, thank you guys. We will see you next time. Have a good one.